As I mentioned, we're going to start the show by taking you to paradise this morning. Dean Hurst is going to be our tour guide as he takes us back out to Burnt Ends, where they have now officially, I guess maybe tomorrow, I guess it'll be officially a week. How are things going there, Dean? Good morning. Uh, good morning to you. They're going swimmingly as a helicopter <laughs> flies over. <laughs> <laughs> I, it makes it sound like it's like a it's a it's a helicopter tour like you would in paradise i love it yeah and the cars driving by are kind of like waves <laughs> there you go hey <laughs> how's it been going seriously you guys had your soft opening on saturday and we have been hearing rave reviews about what you guys are doing over there it's going really well and as i had hoped uh, my best hopes were that people would come in and accept it for what it is and have a lot of fun and and love the drinks and the decor and all the energy put into it the food it's uh it's, it's going over really well. I'm really happy. It warms my heart. Well, and it's interesting because I think when you first hear Tiki Bar, you know, we here in Florida, we love our Tiki Bars, but this is really kind of above. I mean, this is a high class, really fun and thought out Tiki Bar. I mean, this really makes you feel like you've kind of stepped onto an island. The escapism is the whole thing in the 40s and especially into the 50s. It was all about escapism. It's you know, Columbus, Ohio with the Kahiki and walking into, you know, between two giant Moai shooting fire out of their head. Um, it was just all about getting into something different. We didn't have airfare and air travel like we did now, like we do now back then. So you had to go someplace like the Kahiki or the Maikai in Fort Lauderdale. You had to go there to kind of get the exotic and the taste of that exotic uh, escapism. So we're trying to bring that back a little bit. So we brought in some great artists to help us uh, create something that would meld and blend in with a, a barbecue joint. Um, and I think uh, Frank nailed it out. He just completely knocked it out of the park. He really did. And then you have knocked it out of the park with figuring out what kind of cocktails you're going to serve there as well. Because and this had to be a fun job for you. I know, I know how much you love kind of this tiki lifestyle. So when they came to you and said, hey, this is what we want to try to do, you must have said, I'm all in. I got it. It's like, yeah, do you have a drink list? <laughs> yeah, I've had one for a couple of years now. It's like it was all ready to go. <laughs> um, and we, we've got the, a lot to teach the bartenders. I've been playing around in Tiki for 10 years. So to try to squeeze 10 years into a week of training, this isn't going to happen. So we started off the drink list uh, kind of light, pardon me. Um, and we wanted to teach them about rums first and our guests about rum. So one of my favorite drinks to introduce people to is the daiquiri, like a real well-made handshaken daiquiri, fresh lime juice, uh, cane syrup, a really good rum. Um, it's just a simple, easy drink, but it introduces you to like really great rums. And then we step into more serious drinks, like I'll make a three dots and a dash real quick. And then something that's a little fun and off, off in a way, a little different in a way is, uh, has Campari in it called the Jungle Bird. So although it has the, the rum flavors and the sweetness of pineapple, there's also that little bitter kick in the back of it, which is kind of fun. Well, and let's talk about these glasses. And when you talk about it, it's the same when you go out to eat. It's about the experience. And these cocktail glasses, we, we see the Dr. Barbecue one is back too, which we love. I mean, but you're just not, we're not going to have these at our own homes. I mean, this is just another aspect of when you're really getting a experience. Um, true. Um, but for most people that really get into tiki drinks, they do get a little uh, <laughs> fanatical in a sense. Like, so they do tend to have uh, a lot of the uh, drink mixers and, and tins and glasses and cups and um, people collect mugs. They, they get really obsessive about that. This is our own custom mug that we had John Mulder make for us. It's in the shape of a smoker. That's right. awesome. Uh, the rest we bought from Tiki Farm out in California. Holden Westland has been doing making Tiki mugs for over 10 years. So we really dug deep into, uh, into all the artists that have been heavily involved in, in recreating and reviving Tiki. We wanted to be as... Uh, I mean, authentic is a funny way to say it because all of it's kind of made up. Most of Tiki is the music, the exotic music is all kind of made up. And I'm, I'm sorry, there's a trash man coming right by us now. Um, again, you know, uh, mild escapism. <laughs> as best as we can do. We'll take it, Dean. All right, so what's this drink you're making right here? Sorry, I, I missed you on that one. <laughs> what's this drink you're making right here? So this is a three dots in a dash, and this is one that I'm super proud of uh, because we took a lot of time to uh, experiment with rums and make sure we get the right rum pro flavor profile we wanted. Uh, that's the three dots and, and the one dash right there. Um, fun little straw to Look sip at it that. out of. <laughs> you know, it's, just, it's, it's supposed to be fun. If people are, are coming here not having fun, then we're doing something wrong. So. I'll never quite forget that part of it. Uh, 
Tiki's, the idea of aloha is about welcoming someone into your environment, your home, your business, and treating them like their family. So I, I've really taken that to heart. And uh, I do believe that great hospitality is something you just can't, you just can't build. You have to kind of just have it in your heart. So um, we hope that people come here and, and feel that love that we have for taking care of people with great drinks. I have food. no doubt they will. Good what is business. that last one you just, what's that last one, Dean, you just put together? That's the Jungle Bird. So we, we do a Jamaican rum blend with Campari and lime, pineapple, a little bit of simple syrup. Uh, this one has uh, four different rums blended into it, the uh, three dots and a dash. And one of, the, one of the great rums in it, it's the first thing you smell and the last thing you taste. It's just a beautiful cocktail. And the daiquiri is made with Marti out of Panama, which is a really great uh, Puerto Rican Cuban style of rum. Just the delicious, it's, it's the best first drink. I kind of put them in order that way, like first, heaviest, uh, uh, lightest, more challenging, kind of an aperitivo style, or sorry, uh, I don't know, like a, a closing cocktail, if you will, in the Jungle yeah. Book. All right, Dean, we're out of time. Remind people how they can come in and escape for a little bit. I'm um, sure. So Dr. Barbecue, we're right down, we're right here in the edge district of downtown St. Pete. So right where the big roundabout is, uh, just look to your left and there we are. All right. Stay right there. We'll be right back.